my name is Janet Skates and welcome to my studio today. It's uh, raining here and uh, cooled off where I'm at so I've got the windows open and uh, the lights turned up bright in the studio because it is dark outside today. So I'm uh, beginning on a 36 by 36 piece in progress to show you a little bit of what I do layer by layer. This piece has uh, I think two layers now and you can still see some of the original marks that I started with on the first layer. And then I've come in with some bold color pieces and added that and some uh, Neo colors here uh, by Crepa. I've got some of those here and um, you know, just various things going on, but this is just one part of the painting. So I want to walk you through maybe another layer today just for fun so you can see how the pieces uh, evolve. I'm beginning with some Pyroli Red, uh, Fluorescent Magenta, Cadmium Medium Orange, some Fluid, uh, Golden uh, Titanium White, and some Teal and some Black on my palette right now. Who knows what I'll have on my palette before long. This is just kind of where I'm starting and I'll keep adding to that as I go. I work on a glass palette. It's about two feet by two feet, and it's actually a beveled edge, a very heavy glass that I got off of a coffee table at a yard sale. So it's my favorite palette. I work on some different ones when I'm doing paper pieces and working at my table, but for my canvas paintings, this is what, this is what I use. So I'm gonna get started. Um, I'm also gonna mix up a little bit of, you can see the greens in here. Uh, this is more of a teal here. But in here I've mixed, I love this, this bottle green, and it is a mix of teal and uh, nickel azo, nickel azo gold. So I may mix up some more of that. I'm just loving that color right now, and uh, I may want to add some of that, uh, may, may want to add some more of that. So uh, let me find my nickel azo gold, and then I will be ready to get some paint on the canvas. I started this piece and I'm not sure how, how many hours are in it yet. Uh, on a piece this size, it may take me a week, a week, a week or so to do a piece like this, but I don't really work in uh, the time frame like that. I kind of move around and work on paper pieces and canvas pieces and, and different things at the same time. So, I don't keep track of exactly how many hours these pieces uh, usually take. So I'm going to start with a, a larger flat brush. I have tons of brushes, tons of brushes, and, and I'm always buying more brushes because I'm really hard on them. I scrub and I really get the paint into the canvas. I like that. I don't like raw canvas uh, necessarily on my work. But I'm going to begin uh, with First, I'm going to start with this red and magenta mix. And I'm also, I'm loving this area. That is a black and maybe mixed with a little bit of a burnt umber or a Payne's gray, I think, over there. But I really like that. And so I may come back in with some of that dark again. But right now, I'm going to start right here. I think one of the biggest things when, when you're painting uh, or, or painting using a technique like I may be demonstrating is not being uh, afraid to cover up some some of your areas, even if you really like them. Um, if you try to hold on to areas like really tight, like, oh, I love this spot, I don't wanna mess it up. I wanna keep that, but I, you know, I wanna change everything else. If you hold on to, to things like that, it tends to, um, it, for me, it tends to hold me back from the painting evolving naturally. So I try not to hold on to anything. Nothing is too precious here. Um, you know, the, the, you're just, you're making room for even uh, something even more fabulous. So that's, that's what I'm keeping in mind. I've brought in some orange there as well. And now some of that fluorescent magenta. So I've got like a really intense area of red here, which I like against this softer strawberry, raspberry looking uh, pink that I've got back here. And I may or may not keep uh, what's happening up here 
I haven't decided yet. It's still really busy for me, and I, I don't know where I'm going with that as of yet. And I have no plan right now. Like, there's nothing, uh, no plan. I'm just, I'm just letting this kind of happen. And I find sometimes I'll, I'll be working on a painting during the day, uh, one day, and then I may come back the next day and have a totally different, you know, mood going, and it, and it shifts a lot. So who knows what, what I'm going to hold on to here. This area here got a little bit dark for me, a little bit dark, a little muddy, so I'm coming back in with some of this gorgeous red just to brighten this up a little. And already I'm liking that. This too um, is, is a little too structured for me at this point. So I'm going to come in with that black that I told you I, I'm liking that black area. I'm gonna come in, I need to find my paper towels. <laughs> but I'm gonna come in with some black here Just get break this up a little. Sometimes I will get to. I love mark making, and if you've watched uh, some of my other videos, you probably know that mark making is is a fascination, super fun for me. Um, but I also don't like to get into too much detail and too much mark making early on in a painting. Um, it tends to it tends to really, I back myself into a corner when I do that. I end up getting too precious and too tight. And, you know, that that's not where I want to be. So, um, that may have been where I was getting in there with that. And that may be what I'm seeing up here too. Just a little bit too much, uh, too much structure happening too early on. And I want to see this. Uh, deep and over here and so I think I'm going to head in the direction of that uh, teal and nickel azo. That would be the lid. I was videoing earlier and I almost dropped an entire jar of paint which I have done before many times. Too many times to count. And um, that would have been awesome though on the video. <laughs> Again here, I'm not necessarily covering up. I, I don't want to cover over everything I have going on here, but I do want to shift part of it. I think I like this. I'm going to leave that right where it is, and I'm loving this area here. So I'll leave that for now. Here, this is just a little lighter. I've, I've mixed in a little titanium white with that uh, teal and nickel azo. Just lighten that up just a little bit. And I'm already liking where this is going. So I'm going to flip this now. I turn my work around a lot when I'm painting um, for perspective. Um, for access, both reasons, but it really lets me see things in a different light and work on different areas.
Now I love this little yellow pop up here. I'm like, oh, that's just fun. Switching back to some of this red, and well, I had black on that brush. Oh, let's see. Some of this red over here. I like to stand back and often, and even I didn't realize until I really got into videoing, how often I, I stand back, spiral out, and take a look at what's going on. But when I video classes and things, now I see how much I back up and back and forward and back. Um, and, and I think that's good because that keeps keeps me in touch with my work and what's happening from a distance. Um, so you definitely want to, I highly recommend backing up and taking a look and, and walking away from it for a little while. Sometimes you'll get to a place and you feel frustrated, or I, I know I do, I get to a place and I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm not sure I like what's going on, and, and kind of get all you know, jiggy about it. And so I'll take a walk and come back or come back the next morning and I'm like, oh, wow, I really like that. Or, you know, I like the direction that's headed. And it was just because I got too close into it and, and get hypercritical. So it's good to, good to take, you know, time away. And I'm loving, I'm loving what's happening here I'm, with these. They, they've been bothering me, so I'm ready to kind of let these, let these go. I'm just not feeling where they're at right now. So I'm just kind of playing. And I think now I'm going to come in with a little more of this teal and green. years I painted with oils and um, and it was quite an adjustment for me to get into acrylic paints it was that's a switch it's it's a big switch and now I can't imagine going back to going back to oils but I love them both I really do but um, for now at least I'm, I'm really sticking with my acrylic I'm loving where this is going now absolutely loving the, the direction that I've got happening here. I'm happy with this. I'm, I'm really happy with, I feel like it's so much looser than it was. Um, I'm going to turn it over again now. Now to bring in, I think, some, some marks here in this area, and I, I really love what's going on here with these uh, little white circles, and I think that I did these with a high flow, a high flow titanium white and golden, and so I'm going to get some of that because I want to add some more of those, and they may stay or go too, uh, who knows. But 
Let's see what happens. I hear my Blue Jays outside while I'm videoing. I've got the windows open because it's cool, like I said. It feels fabulous uh, to me. And so he's out there talking. I feed them. I have peanut feeders and different feeders for my birds. And so he's out there probably needing food. Okay, so to make my circles, um, I'm, I'm going to decide what brush. Let me look here for just a second. Um, but I like creating these um, circles using, uh, holding on to just the tip, the tip of a brush. Um, this is a longer brush that I'm using here. Uh, so that I don't have so much control. I, if I get started mark making and, and I'm holding it, you know, I, I get very precise and before long I've got everything lined up and it's all perfect. And I, that, that's not what I, I want it to be looser. So holding the, holding the brush back like this means that I can't control so much of, of uh, can't control so much of the outcome here because I really want these to be more free. And so I love, love painting, just, just holding on to this barely and getting, so it's really fun. And I'm kind of twirling my brush as I go. When I, met, when I talk about mark making too, remember to vary the size, the width, the height, there are lots of ways that you can mix up your marks so that you don't end up with, um, you know, with very regimented tight marks. I will say though, that sometimes I create patterns and, and I will make them, you know, just rows and rows and rows and they're quite even. En masse, that works. But like this, I like to keep them a little more open. And I love this, uh, High flow white, I've got some fabulous, you know, drips going. You'll see them start forming here. I like drips. Especially ones that are just kind of unplanned, spontaneous. Absolutely loving this. This making videos is just fun. Fun, fun. I like it. And now up in this area, I think I've got some white here. I'm going to continue. some marks up here. I think I may add a little, uh, I've got some, I've mixed up some fluid titanium white and some high flow white. I've just kind of got a, a little puddle of paint going over here, but I'm going to add some of this uh, light phthalo blue. Just a little bit. And, and come on here. And get some. Let's see. I think I'm ready for some of my. Marks. Using the same brush and, you know, the same technique of twisting and turning my brush as I go to get a really varied mark. I like working over bodies of colors 
and I call that marrying when I'm talking about them uh, in, in classes or videos, is bringing together areas where the colors may be different with a color over the top and that kind of brings together ready to do a, a video here in a moment of how I begin, uh, begin a canvas, a large canvas. So if you want to watch more of maybe the first layer, then you can certainly jump over to, to that video. And if you want to paint with me start to finish, my courses are on coursecraft.net. I have several courses, florals and abstracts. And uh, you, can, you can join my courses there. I've marked them all. 50% off. They are marked already. 50% off. Uh, I did that at the onset of COVID and they're going to stay uh, stay that price for the remainder of 2020. So I hope that that makes them affordable and people are really able to get creative during this time where we're staying at home. So uh, you can check out those, those video classes there and and I hope find something, you know, that's inspiring for you. Now when I step back, I'm, I'm pleased now with this. Uh, I've, I've got some less organization going on than, than I had before. So I'm going to let this dry at this point. Let it dry and then I will come back and, and get to work on it some more. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's fun. Take care. Stay safe.